hi guys so basically today's video is grocery haul and i've already teared up my bag because it's heavy kitchen organization and a fridge tour just entered april i've been shopping all march or february i've been shopping for carrefour quick mart all these major stores i tend to buy my vegetables guys at the local mama kiosk like the local like an open hair market everything i'm going to do that at the end of the month so that's why i'm keeping my receipts here Hapa. i have receipts guys i have receipts Receipt for receipts i can subscribe so guys i'm gonna be doing grocery shopping so i have a need this all whole grocery cost 380 Kenya shillings and this is our uh, onions onions <laughs> I got this bag of onions for 150 Kenya shillings the watermelon this is a small one and a small one each is 40 Kenya shillings guys and I never used to like watermelon but recently I like watermelon so and this other thing is burger this is if you know kisses kisses we are hot because we always take boga kenyeji so today i'll have to mimic boga kenyeji this is a, veg, a tra traditional vegetables you can see that but i don't know the name i'm so silly the only name i know is for and this is kuma kales you can see with a uh, with spinach so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the nini, on the fridge without washing them so that to preserve them for longer. So this is spinach, more spinach and vegetables. Yeah, that's the haul for today. Next I'll do, if you like this kind of videos, please comment, subscribe, like. <laughs> guys that's how my fridge is looking veggies veggies more spinach and yeah i'm gonna be buying cauliflower the only thing i have in the freezer is fish two fish yeah and another fish here that i'm gonna be cooking today and yeah just that that's it and eggs even though he can organize my fridge with me I'm gonna be doing more I'm gonna be making drinks healthy drinks so another quick mat shop this is like a grocery 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 haul for one month okay? I will put them together so I bought a lemon at the local grocery store one but one is 10 shillings so this is 10 of them 100 shillings then i bought this festive the premium bun burger bun because because i want to and then i bought sugar the sugar is not finished but i bought again sugar because it's so 190 it's on offer i told you i'm gonna be buying things that that are an are on offer then i bought this because i love this from santa lucia don't confuse this with the uh, santa maria santa lucia is the best one and it's so good it's the, i bought the spirala one spirola the spiral one because they look good and then i bought the <laughs> guys you know the way i was at the till i was saying why what's up so hard what's this i was confused with the wording but the guy 
at the stand knew what I was seeing. So this one is good for marinade. It gives taste and I needed to buy it. It's a little bit expensive. It's 300 but you guys, I like my meat, my chicken, my, my, my seafood, anything. I like with marinade because I, I hate to smell the menu for that. So yeah, that was around 329 and then I bought vinegar, uh, not vinegar, vanilla essence because I'll be gonna be baking and then I bought this white vinegar. I'm buying, guys, the nini are so expensive, spices are expensive so I'm buying as I go. Then. I have to buy the eggs or papas flour for baking for chapatis and all those good stuff. Then I bought pembe, but I want to buy um, the portion meal uh, flour. But for now, we're going to take this. And that's my shopping haul, guys. And this watermelon, I love them. So I've noticed, I've seen there's a hack of buying the best watermelon. So when you see this, is I don't know this yellow patch. The bigger it is, the better it is. The better, the sweeter it it will be. When you're buying watermelon, spot this this yellow thing. That means it has it may rest for ground for a long time after being harvested. So that means it's ripe to eat. Comment down below if you did, if you knew that. So I'm just gonna show you what I bought from there. It's really common there. I wanted broccoli, but they didn't have it, so I'll be going to another market to search for broccoli, cauliflower, and all those other things. So yeah, let's enjoy this video. And also, I buy local vegetables. I buy like my vegetables, my greens, my meat from the butchery, local butchery because I just tend to love meat from like I can see like it's freshly meat, not frozen. So I just prefer that and I have that option and it's much cheaper so they wait for you. So normally because I'm living alone, I'm just going to have a, have a kg, have a kg of things. They have that option. So let's see what I small haul small or big actually it's big I'm going to count how much this cost for, so for the local grocery store I I got uh, it's around five dollars five oh my god five dollars for all of this and I've teared my kitamba guys I have teared my shopping bag you see I love to get another one okay so yeah so all of these uh, veggies and yeah guys I have to go with life for everyone I like it because you can just do like yeah <laughs> like that you, know? you see like uh, like can I see that yeah I'm just wasting I'm not wasting with it I'm just doing it so let me show you so I got banana <gasps> my banana oh no one is like it has been squeezed oh I wish you could see so bananas uh, meat okay meat is uh, different this is a uh, minced, minced ground beef and then I don't have a pressure cooker or this where I am I, I can't so I bought boiled uh, beans boiled beans with uh, maragua, it's called uh, githeri. So I bought a little because I missed it. Don't have a cooking pressure or something. So this is thirty pop. And then I bought this. Um, this is meat also. So only these veggies that is five hundred and ten shillings. That's five dollars. The veggies which I'm coming to. So the meat is half a kg again of pork because I felt like I missed pork so much. So I just took half of kg. That's like five hundred grams if I'm not wrong. And it's two fifty Kenyan shillings. That's like two point five USD dollars. And also this one is three dollars ground ground. Be, and I need to marinate. I'm going to be eating this today. If the video is not long enough, I'll show you how I cook my mini, my things. So and then I got nyanya. Uh, the nyanyas are 
uh, three for three for twenty shillings. So it's one, two, three, four. So that's four times twenty, eighty. Eh? So it's like eighty cents, eighty bob, eighty bob Kenyan shillings. The mangoes were thirty bob, but I don't know why they are still in the market, but they are, and I'm not complaining. So I bought three mangoes. Where is the other mango? Just now I bought three mangoes and they're still not ripe. They're one at 30 bob, one at 30 shillings. That's like, just to translate, 30 divided by 100 to get the USD conversion. And then I got pineapple and I just don't buy my pineapple anywhere. At the supermarket, they have really nice pineapple from Del Monte, but guys, they charge package and package is sometimes, when you check out like this whole mango, to get like there was this one time several two times we were we were at someone and they bought the pineapple which was big like this and they thought it is 100 and it ended up being 400 so i don't risk with that at least at the local market is just that and then i got this i know 90 page or someone i love these things but yellow and red capsi capsicum this one is 40 shillings each 40 40 shillings each. they're really expensive guys so i hope i like them and i bought them to make my pork with with them another thing is i want to make juices as i told you i'm trying to cut out on sodas so this is um passion fruit i was with one black american lady and she said she she we were taking juice at the at the restaurant she said she didn't know how uh, Passion juice looks like like in a fruit. So this is how it looks like. Maybe I, let me wash and cut it and and show you how it looks like inside. Okay, give me a minute. So yeah, when you cut uh, the passion, it looks like this. Esther, aka okay, Esther, Judy's friend. They were with Judy and so you see, they look like this. And I just love passion and carrot juice. Already have. Oh, this is so good. Already have uh, that thing. Already have carrot. So, carrot passion and how do you say? And the other thing. So this one was a hundred, a hundred Kenyan shillings. I bought also these twenty shillings for twenty shillings for three green capsicums. These are my favorite capsicum. I forgot ginger, but I still have ginger. I bought potatoes. These potatoes are a lifesaver, guys. Um, and I think there are one, two kgs of potatoes. And I bought them at 90. I don't know how to call them. And they are a lifesaver. If you live alone, just buy these potatoes. Sometimes, like yesterday, I didn't know what to eat. And I was so tired with every food. So... I just made hash potatoes. That video is going to be up really, really soon. And then, of course, um, garlic. I love this garlic. I love my food with garlic. I love my meat with garlic. I, it's a must-have to have garlic. Oh, not last. Also, oh, here's my mango. My mango is here. I almost thought I forgot it. And then I bought this, and I need to have a nini, a container. I need to have a... A flour container. This is a um, local portion meal grinded corn flour, maize flour, not corn flour, maize flour. And I have never known the difference between this maize flour and this corn flour. Guys, let me know what's the difference. This is the mainty, like local mainty, and then grinded the portion meal with the with the covers on, with the the seed skin on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so let's go to organization now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, guys, and this is how I'm storing my veggies to remain fresh longer. There's a clean feeling, clinging feeling here. And also this one, you see, the onions. This one is for cooking, so, yeah. This is how I'm storing them. Clean thing. Clean. 
Kaffee Hall. Kaffee Hall. What about that Kaffee? Home containers. So that's all I bought at Carrefour and actually the best deal is the um, the aerial the 3.5 kg aerial um, washing detergent and you save actually 500 Kenyan shillings when you buy that so that's a very good deal to me and uh, that means I'm not gonna buy any detergent for for a long time so another thing is all of that costs um 2224 k shilling and i needed those i needed especially i was excited about this because i need to create my can i use this to create uh, cheese i believe i can and things like that and also i needed these uh, home containers they are 600 ml each one of them uh the thing is with this thing it's really tricky buying them in packets or in packages because i'm gonna be doing a <clears throat> meal prep uh be sure to stick on that uh it's gonna be coming very very soon on you living alone series so this is five containers i buy five containers and then the next time i'm gonna because i already have this other size some other size that I have or this size this size is also nice I have two of this size so I think that's enough containers until uh, maybe I require some so this one cost 80 shillings per per container and I'll be doing meal prep from that a video is gonna be coming soon let me know if you are excited about that and yeah these are the things I was excited about also about clean feel so a bit of how I arrange my small 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 fridge uh, will be up very very soon so let me know if you any kind of video you want to see on living alone series comment down below also this clean feel from Velvex had a this they had a promotion also this size is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters is 126 Kenyan shillings so i didn't know how much exactly that i need this so i took the smaller and then as we progress in this living alone i'll know how much i i need them mm -hmm. and i'm drinking my I'm trying to be drinking lemon water morning and evening and then this velvex aluminium foil, foil <laughs> is um is 30 centimeters by 30 m i think you can see it right i'll be doing a lot of baking as i told you guys it was on sale and it was uh, around uh aluminum it was 410 extension but i needed a, a, another one so that i can like place my fridge wherever i want already have a fridge card so for that i want to move my fridge really, really far from the oven uh yeah thank you guys for letting me know about that okay now let's go to my whole home Deco haul. And then you guys, look at my outfit today. How do you see my outfits? <laughs> How do you see them? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so yeah, Kafo has, for me, Kafo has the best deal. Yeah. So hi guys again. <laughs> Living alone, I keep on buying stuff. And stuff so I've gone to two supermarkets quick mat quick mat and the game yeah we don't buy uh, because of his uh, plastic is banned so I'm always carrying this thing so I have here let me start with the 
fun stuff. I went to Quick Mart. At Quick Mart, I spent 1,000 Kenyan shillings. I bought mango because I want to make this. Because, you know guys, this is Kate. It's called Kate Mango. And this mango only, this one mango <laughs> cost 50, 55 bob, yes. And maize flour, I bought one maize flour because I want to, I want to go to the store, I want to go to the store, I to see that. So the flour is 2 kgs, I bought it at 98 bob. And then, I don't like buying uh, meat at the supermarket, I like buying it at the butcher, but today I didn't have a, because if you didn't see Nana cooking for me, we didn't have anything to cook for, so I wanted to go to the supermarket, so to buy this Mwiko cooking, wooden cooking spoon, and this one will cook ugali, because I want to cook ugali, I've missed ugali so much, and I bought the T-bone, the wooden cooking Mwiko um, medium cost 200 Kenyan shillings, this one. And then this meat, I made them cut it for me. It cost, uh, it's a blade T bone, T blade. No, it's a blade on bone. Yes, blade on bone. And it's 661 kg. Doesn't, that doesn't have a bone. Uh, yeah, so in total today, every time I go out, I'm spending something. Yeah, so that's my little haul. My home is coming along well and I'm really happy. And yeah, continue subscribing, support the channel on PayPal by liking this video. It's also a support, sharing, commenting, and just watching the video till the end. I love you so much, K Tribe. I'm so happy, I'm so contented, I'm so fulfilled. And all this is because of mm, my God my family and also my k tribe you guys and i'm so happy that i've reached where i have reached right now and i'll forever be careful and this is the lord's doing um yeah let's just <laughs> yeah continue watching my videos